Hi, I'm Asif and in this screencast, I'll show you how to use a private Docker image in Git pod workspaces. This is the repository that I'll be using. I already have a Git pod YAML file in it. Let's see how to configure this for Git pod to use a private Docker image. To get started, we will need to create a Git pod project for our repository. So I came to the Git pod slash project space. From here, I'll click on the new project button. This will bring up a repository selection interface listing all repositories I have access to. So now I'll search for the repository that I'm configuring and create a Gitpod project for it. As you can see, the project got created. I'll open it up and create a new workspace. The workspace is ready. And now I can start configuring it for using a private Docker image. I have a private Docker image on the Docker Hub container registry, so I'll go there to copy the image name. I'm logged into Docker Hub and I can see all of my images on the home page. Here's the private Docker image I was talking about. I'll copy the image name along my username. Now I'll get back to my Gitpod workspace and open the Gitpod ML file. Since this is a private Docker image, we need to specify the container registry address in the beginning. For Docker Hub, the address is registry.hub.docker.com. After this, we can simply specify the image name. I had the name copied in my clipboard, so I'll paste it here. We can also optionally specify a tag for the image, and this is how it can look once you're done. Before we can commit our new Gitpod ML file, we'll need to save the authentication credentials for the container registry so that Gitpod can use that to authenticate and pull our private Docker image. And to do that, we need to open a terminal inside our Git pod workspace and run a command to generate the machine readable authentication details. The command is echo followed by our container registry address. Then we chain another echo command to produce a base64 encoded username and password string. So I'll type in my Docker Hub username, colon, and then we come to the password. For the password, I'd recommend generating a token with read only permissions if your container registry supports it. Or you can also directly use your account password, but it might not be the best thing to do. As my private image is hosted in Docker Hub container registry, so I'll go back there and create a token. I'll go to my account settings in Docker Hub from the top right drop down, then the security tab and new access token button. I'll give it a simple description and change the permissions to read only. That's it. Let's generate the token and copy it. Now back to my workspace. I'll simply paste the token that I copied. It will work as my password, but more secure. After this, we finally add the base64 command to encode our username and password authentication string. And for convenience, we also add an extra echo command at the end that will print a new line to our visible shell output for copying easily. You can try removing this extra echo command and you'll know what I mean. Now this marks the end of the command we needed to write. So you can simply press enter to execute it. And this is the output we get, the registry address marked in blue, also the base64 encoded username and password marked in yellow. At this point, all we need to do is copy this output string and save it as a variable in our gitpod project settings. So I came back to my gitpod.io slash project space and here's the project that I had created for my repository. I'll go to its settings and then create a new variable. In the value field, I'll paste the output string that I had copied from my workspace. Also make sure to untick the hide option. And for the variable name, we need to use gitpod image auth. Any other name will not work for our purpose. The variable was successfully created. Now let's get back to our workspace and push our gitpod ML file changes. And we're done. Well, actually there's one last thing to ensure everything works. I'll try to create a new workspace from my repository and see what happens. Here I have a running workspace and it seems to be working. With that, I'll close my workspace. That marks the end of the screencast. Make sure to check out the relevant documentation that I'll link in the description. And if you have any questions, please feel free to join our Discord server at gitpod.io chat. See you there.